I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and this is your quick look at the stories we covered this week that you need to read. INN is in Toronto this week, and the team had the chance to speak with Canadian billionaire Eric Sprott, who's backing the Save Canadian Mining Initiative. It's a new advocacy group whose primary aim is to reinstate a securities trading rule known as the Uptick Rule or Tick Test. According to the group, which was launched this week by Terry Lynch of Chilean Metals, since the rule was removed in 2012, Canada's junior resource space has faced challenges in financing and in getting support from retail investors. The INN team also continued to post content from Benchmark Minerals Week, including interviews with lithium experts Joe Lowry and Andrew Miller. Both said that they believe the troubled lithium market is at or near its bottom. In the marijuana sector this week, news hit that Hexo previously illegally grew cannabis in an unlicensed room at its Niagara, Ontario facility. According to Hexo, the facility received a license in November 2018, but the company was not aware that it didn't apply to the area in which the room was located. The facility came to Hexo by way of its acquisition of New Strike Brands, which closed in July. The company discovered at that time that the room was not fully licensed and immediately halted production. According to Hexo, Health Canada is satisfied with its actions, but this news is only the latest trouble for the company. It also recently lost its CFO and cut its revenue new outlook for 2020. In tech this week, INN attended the iTech conference in Vancouver, which focused on artificial intelligence, security, and data. One theme at the event was building trust in artificial intelligence. As Tarek Radwan said in a keynote, if you can trust the AI, you can take corrective action. Finally, in the life science sector, Alnylam Pharmaceuticals received U.S. Food and Drug Administration approval for its treatment for a rare metabolic disease. Until now, there has not been an FDA-approved medication for this ailment. That's all for this week. Tune in again next week when we tell you more about what's going on in the resource, cannabis, tech, and life science sectors. In the meantime, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, or click below for our free report or any article mentioned in this video. See you next time.